Days after a family tragedy that spanned three different cities, we're learning more about the online personality of Danielle Johnson. She is the woman who killed her boyfriend in Woodland Hills before pushing her baby and her nine-year-old daughter into traffic on the 405 freeway. NBC4's Darsha Phillips live right now in Woodland Hills with more on the investigation here. Darsha. Yeah, Colleen, Danielle Johnson had a very large presence on social media. She had over 100,000 followers, and she posted about her fears about the eclipse and the apocalypse. But neighbors here at the Montecito Apartments where she lived says here she was very much keeping to herself. She barely said hi to anyone. NBC4's I-Team has confirmed that Danielle Johnson was also known as Danielle Aoka online. Under this alias, Johnson made several disturbing posts. Some were anti-Semitic. Others warned about the solar eclipse, calling it the epitome of spiritual warfare. Hours before the solar eclipse on Monday, police say Johnson went on a rampage, killing her partner and throwing her children into traffic on the 405 and then crashing her car into a tree on PCH. Horrible. I mean, just the whole thing. Anita Mezar lived on the same floor as Johnson and her family. I only saw her one time. I came out of my apartment and she was there with a, the stroller with the little baby. The baby wasn't even a year old. That eight month old baby was in the arms of Johnson's nine year old daughter when police say Johnson pushed them out of her moving car on the 405. The nine year old managed to get to the side of the freeway. The baby was hit by a car and killed. She's insane. Yeah, that she had mental problems. To do what she did the way that she did it, yeah, it was, it's just awful. Anita and other neighbors now pouring over Johnson's social media posts. I don't know if you've gone to her Twitter or X page, but we, we didn't realize how mentally unstable she was. A lot of anti-Semitic remarks. Norman and others say Johnson and the family kept to themselves. She was just very standoffish. When we walk our dog, she just didn't, wouldn't say hi. But never imagined she was capable of what police say she did. So many in the building, Norman says, haunted by what happened on Monday. Friends of ours heard pleading, blood-curdling screams, pleading for his life. Online, Johnson described herself as a recording artist and an astrologer and sold healing sessions and products. Johnson was killed when her car crashed into a tree in Redondo Beach. Police say she was going over 100 miles per hour. If only people in this situation would simply either get help or if they would just not take others out with them. The sole survivor in this, the nine-year-old girl, is now with Child Protective Services. Reporting live tonight from Woodland Hills, I'm Darsha Phillips, NBC4 News.